US now and the horror crash that killed five and left dozens seriously injured, including children. But police are saying it is not a terror event. They've already made that determination. Despite the shocking video footage, I'm surprised by this, James, because we've got here a BLM activist, a convicted criminal who posted highly inflammatory comments online, deliberately ploughing through a Christmas parade, and somehow they already know it's not terrorism? Well, and, you know, as we always see in Europe, whenever there are acts that do turn out to be terrorism, the authorities always sort of tend to tiptoe around it, and there's always this sort of, well, we just may never know what caused this person to go and commit this horrendous crime. Who knows? But this comes just a few days after the Kenosha verdict in the Rittenhouse case, Rita, and I really mm -hmm. feel like these are two sides of the same coin, because what does Kenosha and this Waukesha... Um, crash have in common, this incident have in common? Well, the media, I think, is going to lie about the person responsible in both instances. They lied about Kyle Rittenhouse to the point where they did everything that they could to see mm -hmm. this young man jailed for the rest of his life and ruined for what the courts found was quite obviously a case of self-defense. And now... Now the media is saying, well, no, 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 we just, we don't know. We don't know who this person is. We don't know why he did it. We aren't going to look into his background. You know, the fact that he has a rap sheet a mile long doesn't apply. Um, some of these social media posts that were said to have been out there about them, we won't look into that at all. But, of course, we know. We know how things go when there is a mass casualty event and the perpetrator is Caucasian. Well, there's a huge deep dive into their social. They want to know if the person ever voted for Trump. They want to know anything they can do to peg this on, you know, the great boogeyman of the time, mm -hmm. white supremacy. And yet, and yet, the rules are different when the color of the skin of the person responsible for an incident is different. And it, you know, people in America are sick and tired of it. And I think the media has a huge reckoning coming to it as a result of their behavior, not just in this case, not just in Kenosha, not just with Covington Catholic, not just with Jussie Smollett and a million other things I could retail for you tonight, Rita, but so many um, other things. And we could be here all night. A free society needs a free society, needs a respectable free press. And America is not being served by it to its detriment. Oh, it is not, and you're right, the people are awake to it. Uh, some recent polling They're showing only 11% <laughs> of... <laughs> they're woke to it. Only 11% of Republicans trust the mainstream media. That is incredible <laughs> to have only 1 in 10 having any trust in the mainstream media.